Ogden City Zoning Change Application, July 2021. We are requesting a zoning change in order to build a nice new building on Binford Street and H Avenue. We sell dog kennels online. We have two buildings in the area. The building on the south side of 27th Street has M1 zoning and is used for welding. The building on the north side of 27th Street has C3, C0 zoning and is used for powder coating, assembling, and packaging. We are requesting a zoning change for the property on Binford Street in order to add a third building close to the two we already have for assembly and fulfillment. Of course, it would be a new, attractive building that would update the area and provide a transition from the industrial businesses in the area to the projected small box commercial use. One proposal from the staff was to zone our property C1. As you probably know, this whole area is intended to go commercial in Ogden City's long-range community plan. Their reasoning for recommending C1 was that the look and layout of a C1 style of building would be less intrusive to the neighborhood. The problem is that C1 zoning would not allow us to operate our business. The staff also indicate that they would support M1 zoning for the entire block if we could acquire the other properties on the block we would be willing to do that. However, several of the property owners are not interested in selling their properties, so that is not a viable option. The reason that the staff recommended that the entire block be zoned M1 was to prevent five houses on that block from becoming an island in the middle of a commercial area. However, they are already surrounded by industrial buildings and M1 zoned land. All of the land to the east is owned by Cargill and is zoned M1. Directly to the north is a commercial building, which is a communication installation business. Directly to the south is a machine shop, welding shop, and the huge Cargill plant. On the west is our new assembly building. What we are suggesting is that our property be zoned M1 with a conditional overlay. Thus, the building would meet the specifications and appearance that the city would like to have in the area, including a 20-foot landscape setback on the east side that is next to the residential lot, and it would have a nice-looking, solid fence as a barrier between residential and commercial. This would be to provide additional privacy to the neighbor. The building would only have overhead doors in the back, so all work activity would be screened by the building and fencing. The front of the building would have a nice office or storefront appearance similar to our existing building. We feel that a building like this would improve and update the area because it would replace two unsightly older homes with a new attractive building. A major consideration in allowing this is that our use of this property would be considerably less intrusive on the neighborhood than many C1 permitted businesses. For example, our building would have a minimal effect on traffic, whereas businesses such as restaurants, convenience stores, service stations, dry cleaners, and fast food drive-ins would increase traffic to the area by many times. Also, we close at 5 p.m. Many C1-type businesses are open and busy until late at night. We feel this is the best use of the property because it improves and updates the area with minimal impact. It also provides a buffer from the heavy industrial area on the south to the planned commercial area closer to 24th Street. Honestly, it would be very difficult to attract C1-type businesses such as convenience stores, restaurants, and professional offices this far south of 24th Street, even after the 24th Street and freeway interchange improvements are made. This is more of a small business area where there are workshops, service businesses, and online fulfillment centers like ours. The existing industrial businesses are not going to move. They are unsightly, create constant noise, and generate a massive amount of truck traffic. Literally, there are big rigs coming and going every few minutes. There is an active railroad line to the east and the freeway to the west that create a tremendous amount of noise in this area. In addition, this is a dead end. 
the only access into and out of the neighborhood is 24th Street. We feel that our proposal has merit. Based on the West Ogden Community Plan 7E, Ordinance 2017-25, adopted 526-17, which reads, Consider zoning properties along Binford and 27th that face or abut M1 zone properties to C3, C0. Conditions shall include limiting uses to no outdoor storage or display, total building size to 20,000 square feet, and individual tenant size to 6,000 square feet. This proposal is a win-win for everyone. The neighborhood gets updated without late-night activity generated by many C1-type businesses. The city gets a transition from the old industrial area to the new light commercial area, and we get to operate our business without having to build an industrial manufacturing building right next to the freeway interchange and just a quarter block away from the new 24th Street improvements. Thank you for your consideration.